hello 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 happy friday how are you doing it is another week that is coming to an end and i just have something i quickly want to share with you so my name is victoria show me i'm a speaker i'm a coach and i'm a trainer and i love that i love to impact other people i love to work with the healthcare organizations businesses to increase uh, to improve their bottom lines to continue to stay relevant in the community to continue to do what they do best continue to serve people and make people feel better so i love 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 doing that so and what i just want to share even as this week is concluding is how to win how to win in your field uh, maybe you are a business person maybe you are a professional you serve in the corporate world how do you win how do you win and I have one solution for that that I'm going to share and this has helped me uh, in my business, in building my business, business and in growing. And the thing is, stay in your lane and shine there. It's one sentence but it has like two parts. Stay in your lane and shine there. Not many people today, one of the problems that they have is they have from one place to the other. Some people, they change jobs as if they're changing clothes. They don't like something here, they move to somewhere else. They, things happen here, they go somewhere else. When you hop around like that, you cannot develop your wing enough, to strong enough to help you take a flight. And you cannot shine uh, as such. You can shine to a level, you can have success to a level, but it's going to be that every time you have to start afresh again. You have to start anew again. But when you find your comfort zone, when you find your sweet spot, and then you dominate in that area, and you continue to shine, my God, it is going to be from one level of success to another one level of success to another one level of success to another and me this week has been one of the most blessed week for me and why i said that i mean each week something new something great is happening in my life but this week when one of my clients one of the organization that i'm serving that i'm working with is a healthcare business they have almost about 60 employees and i've been working with them for over two months now and the thing is for them to improve their bottom line, to improve their outcomes, their performance, how people see them, how the community see them, and how they can continue to stay relevant in what they do. So we develop a plan that involves me coaching some of their key leaders and also training the, uh, the, the key staff that really have a major stake. You know, in retaining people, in getting people, and in making sure that the clients they serve, they're receiving the quality care, they're getting satisfied. And this week, when I was speaking with the owner, and me, her expressing to me the increase, the growth, the things they're hearing from their customers, the consumers, the doctors, the hospitals, I mean, to the point that their volume has increased. I mean, and she's now telling me like now the problem we have now, Victoria, is now managing the now managing the productivity. You said before, even people when they work before time, they like nothing else to do. Like by time 4:35, most people are out the door. But now they finding it are able to leave on time because there is so much work to catch on with. And I am so delighted to hear that because these are people that pay me thousands of dollars every month, right? And that is one of my things to make sure that whatever I'm giving to them is something that is effective, is something that is productive, and is where they can see the result. And them tell, they're telling me that the same result in multiple areas, I mean, it's just a testament to the grace that is upon me and to what I can do. And I'm so very grateful to God for that. I sometimes when my clients, my coaching clients, we say, oh, Victoria, I can't believe I did this. I just did. I mean, it gives me satisfaction that I can shine in those lanes. I can help people with my words, the words that come from my mouth. That is my area, that is my sweet spot. 
empowering, empowering, training, speaking, coaching. That is my lane, and I'm so delighted. And so for you, what area are you good at? What do you do that gives you joy? So I want you to look in those areas and see how you can develop your wings, how you can maximize your opportunity, and how you can scale high from that, how you can get to the point that that is what you're known for, that you become a, a, a reference point, that people can refer you, people can talk about it to people like, oh, she can help you with this, she can help you with that, she's knowledgeable. So that is where I want you to see your salary, the area I want you to focus on, to see, okay, this is where I, I function well. Even when I'm under stress, under pressure, I can still deliver at this level. So that may be your area that you want to focus on. So, the week is coming to an end. I want you to go out there and shine, continue Continue to shine, continue to help other people, continue to impact other people. Don't be a reservoir, you know, give out, give out, give out, give out. And the more you give, the more you receive, the more that comes back to you. So again, thank you for listening and watching. My name is Victoria Shewumi. I'm a certified coach, speaker, and trainer with John Maxwell team. Uh, and that is my area. If you would like me to work with you, uh, either individually to coach or maybe to work with your team to take your guys to the next level, please inbox me. Uh, inbox me, email me, uh, Victoria Shewumi1 at gmail.com. Now you go on my website, Victoria Shewumi.com. You can message me on there or you can test me. You can message me on Facebook. Test me on my phone. It is 631-741-0795. And I can wait to hear your success and also to be part of it if possible. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. God bless you. Take care now till I come away. Gain your way. Be safe. Shalom.